Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. I'm Chef Marilyn and today I'm going to show you how to prepare delicious pizza. So these are the ingredients when you are making the dough. Wheat flour 250 grams, sugar 60 grams, salt, pinch, yeast 30 grams, milk 1 cup, vegetable cooking oil 2 tablespoons. As you can see them, we have our yeast there, oil and our milk. So the first step, you take your warm milk you put in your yeast so we are putting the yeast into our warm milk then we add a half of our sugar that is a half of 30 grams that will be 15 then the the remaining sugar you put into your wheat flour that then you add your pinch of salt those are now your dry ingredients you make sure you mix them thoroughly so that everything is mixed well then add your oil your tablespoon two tablespoon cooking oil make sure you mix into the dry ingredients and remember the cooking oil is not a dry ingredient don't confuse yourself mix well then take your milk with your infused yeast inside and remember your milk is warm now use it to make a dough we are using our milk which has our yeast to make a dough we are not using water here so we want to get our best dough as soon as possible it is very soft so use everything until it is your milk is finished yeah we are having our um, dough although the process is it is very easy when you are coming out with your dough yeah here we have uh, our a small ball it's so nice and it is very soft as you can see Take a clean plate, apply oil very well, then put your dough there. Then leave it to relax so that it can double. If possible, just use a clean cloth or anything you have to make sure you cover your dough and let it so on another cooking pan add oil so here we are preparing a pizza sauce let your oil heat then add your onions we have our onions tomatoes green pepper coriander tomato paste and cheddar cheese make sure you brown your onions well well
then add your tomatoes we want to get the nice sauce as uh, possible let them cook at least for 2 to 3 minutes then add your pinch of salt to get the nice taste add uh, green pepper the reason why we are adding these things little at a time is because we will use them in the next step add your tomato paste continue stirring stir well until you find the fine texture then li add little water so at least you can get the wet sauce let it cook two to three minutes yes our sauce is ready as you can see now when the sauce is ready you can go check on your dough it has doubled yeah it is very soft and it has also doubled place on a dust surface if you, you have your table you can use it roll out and it is very soft so you check on your rolling it is very 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 soft so you don't mishandle you roll it out on your dust surface then put on a pan sometimes we use our fingers just to spread the flour but sometimes we roll it out so if it is still sticking while using your fingers to roll it out it means you'll just use your rolling stick but very careful you handle the flour the dough i mean sorry careful because it is very sticky it is very soft do it slowly until you get the desired size this one is just going to give us one pizza slowly continue yes at least it is coming out okay then put your dough your shaped dough on the surface that you are going to use it for us we have um, a cooking pan Make sure you adjust well. Yeah. Okay, when you are done, take your sauce, start applying on top. 
we want it to wet the dough so that when we put some other ingredients at least it will be able the ingredients will be able to stick correctly yeah then put your cheddar cheese as you can see my cheese are shredded and i like putting cheese first then the next step you put your minced meat and the reason why my minced meat is looking like this is because i already put it in oven then add your tomatoes and your green pepper your onions on top yeah make sure you adjust well so that you have the nice colors add your cheese i like to put my cheese on the, in the bottom and the, on top that's how i prepare my uh, pizza add your minced meat again make sure you make use of the ingredients you have don't leave anything unattended yes yeah balance well using your palm and make sure your your hands are very clean then put in your oven make sure your oven is preheated put in your oven and let it cook let it bake at um, one hour 185 degrees okay check and see if your pizza has already baked remove the aroma will show you that the pizza is already baked and it is very nice so making pizza at home it is very easy thing enjoyable you don't need to go to kfc thank you for watching Let's do this at home.